hi and welcome to our channel today we're going to be exploring some of the features of the bush larpa baobab 4 we're going to start out by putting up the bush wing awning and then i will take you through some of the other features of the kitchen as well as the nose cone so keep watching if you're keen to find out more about this caravan it's quite easy to put up the bush wing awning you open it from left to right and when you close it you will close it from right to left in our experience this is one of the more robust awnings on the market in particular in terms of adverse weather conditions such as wind or rain we quite like the fact that uh, it has a variety of crossbars which help to make it a little bit more sturdy it is also quite handy in particular for the baobab 4 to have a small ladder or something to stand on that's just because the baobab 4 is a little bit higher than some of the other caravans in their range it is also possible to put this up on your own but uh, it is a bit easier if there's someone to help you so I won't be tackling this one on my own today the kitchen area which is totally new for me I don't, I'm not used to such a big space so let's have a look and see this goes in here and then this goes in here And then you'll see that this has got its own geyser. Um, we haven't quite figured out how that works yet, but we will. And yeah, I was really clever. I packed all the cleaning stuff in the kitchen because I forgot that this thing has a whole separate kitchen. But there's its taps and all its pipes and two vice buckies. And then yeah, while I'm here, so this one is the doors on the side as you can see so this is a really nifty little holder with lots of little baggies for all your cups and plates and bowls and so on and then yeah a little bit of chaos in there I'll try and remedy that at some point um, but this is the kitchen area uh, I see this time Camille's has sent us two kettles, last time he had three. Um, he seems to know that I have a coffee problem. And then this is the fridge, which is quite probably my husband's favorite part of any camp setup. So when you open this, you have to pull this lever out. And then the whole fridge comes out like this. And you pull it all the way out. And there's your fridge with a two plate stove at the front. This is a, a wind protector, which I have to figure out how it works. Um, the gas isn't open yet, so these aren't going to work, but uh, they will. And then Kirniels is definitely not scared to kit out a caravan. When he says fully kitted, he means fully kitted. Okay, so I'm currently at the nose section. So on this side, I'm on the right hand side of the caravan now. You can see there are two gas bottles. Um, they come full, so that's quite nice. And the geyser and the stove run off these gas bottles. They wired, piped in. Um, so you just make to make sure when you arrive that you open up the gas fire uh, extinguisher just in case so that's the one side <clears throat> and then on the other side okay, so the tent is up now so I can't really get in there but there's two uh, jerry cans in there if you're doing a long trip sometimes it's good to make sure you've got extra extra diesel or extra petrol depending on what your vehicle uses this is the other side so this is really just a, a open space useful for tent pegs etc uh, the fly sheet for the second room was in there um, but you can use that to pack for other things and then this space here is the other end of the or the other side of the fridge uh, so that's where all the ground sheets, tent pegs, uh, the bag with all the 
the hammers, the Maxicon tent pegs, the guy ropes, and currently we've also got the pole bag in there. But yeah, so that's the front part. And then I think that's more or less it. The top here, you can see that silver thing at the top there, that's the solar panel. So that just works whenever the sun is out. So your batteries are charging the whole time. And then you can see we've put the bushwing awning up now. So that's really cool. Quite a robust structure. Very easy to put up. And um, we haven't put the sidewalls up because we only have for a short while. But um, it does come with sidewalls that are currently stored under the second bed. And should you have a need for the sidewalls, wind or rain or whatever, sometimes we use it for privacy. You can put those up as well. The way that those work, as I understand it, is each of each sidewall has a see has a little color-coded uh, piece of canvas. Each sidewall has its own color coding, so it's very easy to know which one goes where.